Hey guys, how you all doing? Bionicle Source here, and in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Favorite Co. Series 2 Stegosaurus. So I must say, this figure might be my new favorite Stegosaurus figure in my collection. Uh, previously, it would have been the Wild Safari Dino Stegosaurus, but this one, I am just really falling in love with it. In general, just the pose and the shape and just the, the silhouette of the whole model just looks so graceful and natural. It's really well done. Favorite Co. does a great job with their herbivores, and this figure is no exception. The biggest flaw with this figure really is the coloration. As you can see, the whole thing is pretty monocolor. This is very typical for the Series 2 Favorite Co. figures, and, uh, and in general, it's just really two shades of green across most of the body, this kind of medium green and then these darker green stripes, and that's pretty much it. Now, I don't think the problem is that it's just green. I think the problem is that it is just those two shades. If they had just added in one or two more shades of green and blended it all together a little bit better, I think it could have looked really nice. But as it is, it's a little bit just simplistic and maybe even a little bit cartoonish looking. The back plates are pretty simple too. As you can see, they're just red and orange, but I think they did a little bit of a better job blending it here. The transition between the dark green and the light green is a lot more just blocky and it's a lot more of a defined transition. There's just a little bit more kind of nuance with uh, what they did here. The final problem that I want to mention about this figure is that mine actually has a little bit of a paint issue on the head. As you can see on the left eye here and the whole left side of the kind of like lower part of the uh, of the lower jaw and the uh, little bit on the dewlap and even back on the neck here. There's uh, some red paint from the plates, assumably, that uh, got s somehow sprayed there, I guess. Maybe they just accidentally kind of flicked it there with the brush. I don't know if these are hand-painted or machine-painted. I have no idea um, how favorite co-figures are made, to be honest. But anyway, yeah, that's that's a bit of an issue, but it's it's not too bad, and it's surely just on mine. As you can plainly see, the other side of the head is absolutely fine. Although, I would like to start with some accuracy issues here. There's really only two, and they both revolve around the head. Um, first off, the head is probably a little oversized, I would say. Not by too much. It's not nearly as bad as some Stegosaur figures. But it is a little off, I think. But the worst issue is that the line of the mouth is just too there. It's way overdefined. Stegosaurs had cheeks, and when their mouths were shut, you really shouldn't see this line, and if you did see it, it would just be way less visible, and it would be more of a wrinkle than a depression in the skin. But like I said, that's virtually the only issue. The head is just a little bit off in a couple of aspects, and other than that, the accuracy is great on this figure. And in general, Favorite Code seems to do a really good job with their herbivores. Their Ankylosaurus, their Triceratops and Styracosaurus, and their Parasaurolophus are all also just great when it comes to accuracy. If you're looking for some really scientifically accurate and just really well-proportioned, nice-looking herbivore figures, you should really look into Favorite Co's stuff. One small nitpick I have, accuracy-wise, is that they have gotten the number of digits right on all of the feet, but the front feet have hooves on all of the toes, and they should only have them on the inner two, I believe. Taking a bit of a closer look at the skin texture, I'm not the biggest fan of it, it's not super crisp, it kind of has these slightly muddled looking, pretty large scales combined with a few wrinkles here and there. In general, it's, it's good, I think this figure is pretty well detailed. It definitely works, it's not bad, it's not like old Carnegie figures with just the ugly wrinkles. You know, there are scales even though they aren't the nicest looking scales in the world. Um, but I think that in general, yeah, they, they did a decent job, it's not great, but it's, it's pretty good. So, my final rating for this figure is a straight A. I think this figure looks really nice. Again, these new ratings in these reviews are completely subjective. They're just based off of how much I like the figure, and boy, do I like this one. This might very well be my new favorite Stegosaurus figure in my collection. And that's really saying a lot, considering I have a couple others that I really like. But in general, the pose and all that is just so graceful and fluid looking. This just looks like a really just active and uh, and just 
Oh, just a really just nice looking figure. Just really looks like an animal that could just start walking away. You know, that's the pose just looks that nice. And you know, the detail's not great, but I think it's still definitely more than adequate. And the colors, I mean, like I said, the paint scheme is simple, but like the colors in general look really nice, especially just if you glance at the figure, like if you don't overanalyze it, like it's just really aesthetically pleasing on most levels. And the accuracy is almost flawless. And that's of course uh, really going to bode well for, uh, for a rating in these reviews since you all know how important accuracy is to me. But at any rate, that is about all I have to say about this favorite Costegosaurus. Again, the rating is a straight A. I really, really like this figure. Thank you for watching and Bionicle Saurus signing out.